Moving on to the next example for the change of variable strategy for solving limits, we got the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 minus x plus 27 to the power of 1 over 3 all over x. Now to solve this question, I'm going to follow the same series of steps that we've been following. I went over these steps in detail in the overview video, so if you didn't watch those and you didn't watch the previous examples, I'd highly recommend you watch those before going into this example. This particular example is going to be a little unique in certain parts and we will get to those. The first thing you want to recognize with this particular limit is this power 1 over 3. And whenever you have a rational exponent other than 1 over 2 or some kind of radical like the third root or the sixth root, we know that we're going to be dealing with the change of variable strategy. So the first step in the change of variable strategy is you want to transform all radicals into rational exponents. Notice in this question, there are no radicals. Everything is already in rational exponents. So this whole expression is to the power of 1 over 3, and then this x is to the power of 1. So going to our second step, here's where it gets a little unique with this example. Usually, when we've been introducing a new variable in previous examples, we let u equal x to the power of the lowest exponent. However, in this case, notice that we don't have x to the power of 1 over 3 in this case, we have a whole expression to the power of 1 over 3. So in this particular example, whenever you see a question like this where a whole expression in brackets is to the power of some kind of ugly rational exponent, what's going to change in step 2 is that instead of x being to the power of the lowest exponent, it's whatever expression is in the limit to the power of the lowest exponent. So in this case, the expression to the power of 1 over 3, that is the lowest exponent compared to 1. So that's what we're going to let u equal. We're going to let u equal that expression to the power of the lowest exponent. So u is equal to x plus 27 to the power of 1 over 3. So now let's move to the third step. We have to change all the variables x and this limit into that new variable u. Well, so far, we've taken this expression and changed it to u, so that's good. But now we have to take these two expressions, x to the power of 1 and as x approaches 0, and make it in terms of u. So let's start off with this x to the power of 1. How do we do that? Well, notice with this expression that we wrote here, this x in the bracket is to the power of 1. So if we can maybe somehow isolate for that x to the power of 1, then we'll have a expression in terms of u for that denominator. So let's rewrite this. So we got u equals x to the power of 1 plus 27 to the power of 1 over 3. So to isolate for this x, we've got to get rid of this rational exponent 1 over 3. So what we can do is we can take both sides to the power of 3. So what we do to the right side, we have to do to the left side. And now notice how 1 over 3 times 3, that just gives us 1. So we would be left with x plus 27 to the power of 1. We don't have to write that one, it's just x plus 27. And then this left side stays as u to the power of 3. And now we can bring this 27 over. u to the power of 3 minus 27 equals x to the power of 1. So now notice how we have an expression for this x to the power of 1. So this here is equal to u to the power of 3 minus 27. And the way we did that was we just took that original expression that we introduced in step 2 and isolated for x. And now what's left to do is to get an expression for x approaching 0. So as x approaches 0, we got to get an equivalent expression as u approaches a certain value. Well, what's that value going to be? Well, we can find it with that original expression that we introduced. So u equals x plus 27 to the power of 1 over 3. Well, when x is 0, if we sub in 0 for x, we'd have 0 plus 27, which is just 27 to the power of 1 over 3. And 27 to the power of 1 over 3, the third root of 27 is 3. So x approaching 0, that's equivalent to u approaching 3. 
And then with that, notice how we've completed step three. We've taken all the x variables in the original limit. So as x approaches zero, we made an equivalent expression as u approaches three. x to the power of one is the same as u to the power of three minus 27. And then this whole expression here, x plus 27 to the power of one over three is just equal to u. So then making those substitutions, we would get the limit as u goes to three of three minus u all over u to the power of three minus 27. So notice how we now have a brand new limit, all in terms of a new variable u, there are no more x variables, and it's a lot nicer to work with than that original limit that we were given. Now with this new limit, you wanna check, can you make a direct substitution? Well, if we sub in three for u, we would get three to the power of three, which is 27. 27 minus 27 gives us zero in the denominator. So we can't do that. But notice how this denominator here, that's a difference of cubes, so we can factor that. So then factoring that denominator, we would get u minus three times u squared plus three u plus nine. And we want to try to get rid of this u minus 3 bracket in the denominator because that's the bracket that's causing the denominator to be 0 when we make that direct substitution. If we directly substitute u into the second bracket, that's going to give us a value of 27. So we can forget about this bracket, that's all good. So notice how 3 minus u, u minus 3, they're almost similar, but there's a difference. So we can't just cancel those out yet. But if we factor out a negative from the numerator, we'll be left with u minus 3 in the numerator. And now notice how the u minus 3s can cancel out. So now we'll be left with the limit as u goes to 3 of negative 1, there's like a negative 1 in front here, all over u squared plus 3u plus 9. And now we can directly substitute a value of 3 for u. And if we do that, we would get negative 1 over 27. So that there is our final answer for this original limit that we got here. So overall, not too bad. The trickiest part, I wouldn't even say it's that tricky, it's just recognizing that whenever you have an expression to the power of a rational exponent, instead of introducing that new variable as u equals x to the power of the lowest exponent, it's the expression to the power of the lowest exponent. So you let u equal that whole expression, and then you have to isolate for that x there. So then when we did that, we got u to the power of three minus 27. So overall, not too bad, just a little bit more algebraic manipulation going on here to uh, get this value x to the power of one. But uh, it's not too bad. Just remember that whenever you get a question like this, very possible that you will as well on your test, you take that whole expression, you let it equal u. Usually, it's x to the, you let u equal x to the power of a lowest exponent. But in this case, we had a whole expression to the power of a rational exponent. So we let u equal that whole expression. And then you just follow the same steps. You get to here, difference of cubes factor stuff out and you get that final limit of negative one over 27. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.